Have you ever seen those makeup hack videos on TikTok? I've come across quite a few and I think it's time for me to test them out. So normally I don't really wear much makeup, but when I do my makeup, it takes anywhere from 20 minutes to 45, an hour if I really go all out. But I decided to try some of these hacks that I've never tried before to see if they can shave some time off of me doing my makeup. Now, like I mentioned before, I haven't tried any of these hacks, so it's gonna be my first time, and the makeup that you're actually seeing right now was done with hacks. So let's rewind back in time and see how these actually worked out. Alright, so I've already put a primer on my face. I put primer on my eyeshadows. I'm using the Smashbox one. Uh, and the first one I'm gonna do involves a spoon. So with this hack, you're supposed to use the spoon to create a crease for your eyeshadow, and then you're supposed to be able to use it for your lips. Um, but I'm gonna start with the eyes, and I'm gonna put a darker color uh, on top. I normally don't do this, uh, but today is the day to try something new, right? So since I'm wearing pink today, I'm gonna be using the Venus 3 by Lime Crime. I love this palette, and I haven't really used anything other than this pink color, but we're gonna use this Ecstasy brown color, and then maybe Beloved at the top, maybe Rapture, I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm doing. I am gonna start off with the darker color though, so hopefully this goes well. I don't know if this is gonna work. I, I feel like my spoon looks different than theirs. I'm gonna go look for a smaller spoon. Okay, I found a smaller spoon. This is like an older spoon, um, but it seems to be the better size. Got some of that on my brush and use it as a guide. Oh my gosh. This is very dark. I'm gonna blend it outwards though. Let's get a lighter brown. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is it gonna look like I have a black eye? Okay, here's the reveal. <laughs> what? <laughs> that does not look good. <laughs> um, okay, okay, all right, let's not panic. Let's try the other eye. Maybe I just positioned it wrong. You know, maybe I gotta put it like, like this on the crease. Okay, let's just try this again. I can already tell this is not gonna work. <laughs> This is major, major yikes. <laughs> what? Oh no. How did this happen? Maybe I could blend that out. I don't know. Oh God. Okay. Well, because it was way too high. Okay. All right. That, that, that looks somewhat decent. This side, I don't even, I don't even know. It's hard when it's your other hand. I know it looks like crap right now, but don't worry. I got another hack to blend it out. So I'm supposed to use translucent powder to blend it out. Let's hope that this works. I'm gonna put this heavenly color right up here. And this is supposed to help me blend it out. And I have the two colors on here, so... Let's hope that this helps me blend it out because this is looking... Oof questionable. Hey everyone, it's Tiffy from the future. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I wanted to let you all know that we are having a humongous sale over on tiffyquake.com for Black Friday. It starts on Monday. All of my art prints are included. They're going to be 50% off. And we also have a sale going on for Moody Me, my clothing line. Insane deals. I'm telling you guys, if you have been wanting to get a piece, head over to moodyme.la for that. Uh, and tiffyquake.com for my art prints. So I thought you would like to know that to save you some money for the holidays. Okay, back to the video. So I'm using this Kat Von D translucent powder. Just a little brush here. Let's see if it blends. I got translucent powder on the brush. Please blend. It's not working. Oh dear. Oh, da -da 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 dear. Yeah, that, that's not looking blended at all. It's 
seriously, it's not blending. I'm gonna grab some more of this Rapture color and just try to fix it. Is it working? Well, this side doesn't look terrible, but I don't know about blended, but this side, I'm gonna have to fix this. <laughs> you have betrayed me, Spoon. I'm gonna attempt the spoon trick again. See if this could help us at all. I mean, I got a, a nice line there, but uh, it's not going well. I mean, it's starting to look a little blended. You could still see the other line though that I messed up. I just don't get how they look completely different. Like this one comes low and this one goes high. <laughs> Why did that happen? Why did that happen? It's the angle. Oh no, no, I really messed it up. I guess it's like the angle of the spoon. Am I doing it wrong? I'm doing it wrong. Okay. The only thing I see being able to save this is adding another color right here. So I'm gonna try to take care of that. <laughs> okay, let's do a little bit of blending. My eyes look like I'm bruised. What the heck? This is not good. This is, this is not going well. I'm gonna try the spoon thing again, but with a smaller brush instead of a big blending brush. Let's see if I could try to fix it. Let's use a little bit of a lighter brown color. You know, maybe it will look better with eyeliner. There's a hack for that. So this one says I need to use a bobby pin and it looks like they took off the little tip. I'm gonna just straighten this one out. So here's my bobby pin, liquid liner. You're supposed to put it on the edge and then make the line using this. So let's see how this goes. Okay and nothing. Please work. Oh, okay. That worked. Now I gotta do another one. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That does not look good. That is the most crooked line I have ever, how did that even happen? Okay. All right, let me fill it in. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna, I guess, use the bottom line as the guide. I don't freaking, this is not, it looks like my wings are gonna be real big today. <laughs> That's not too bad, but um, a little bit bigger than I would normally do. Wait, there's another hack for this. It says I can use another bobby pin to place on my nose, to pull the skin like this, so then I can make a great wing on the inside. <laughs> Seems legit. It just makes my eyes look weird. It makes me look weird. Okay, let's try <laughs> Let's try this hack. Supposed to give me that real cat like. My eyes look freakishly long. Let me do the other side. Here's the moment of truth. It absolutely did nothing. This sucks. Now I have a really long wing and a freaking inner thing that I never do. Oh gee, okay. I'm going to try to salvage this before I do. Let's do the other side, shall we? There. Nope. Seriously, these are the worst hacks ever. So I've done what I could to salvage the eye shadow um, and liner. I put some translucent powder on it again to blend it and kind of got on the liner. One last thing, I wanna just add some glitter to this. Okay, glitter will make everything better. This is the end of slide one of this record. Please now, turn it over for the second slide. 
actually does. <laughs> it defines it more. Not too shabby. Glitter has betrayed me. <laughs> it wasn't dry. It's okay, glitter. So now for my lashes. There's also a hack for this. I haven't tried this one surprisingly, but it is to heat up your curling iron with the blow dryer on cool uh, and then curl your lashes. So it's kind of like a heated lash curler. All right, I lost one of my lights, but I'm just gonna try it here. All right, that feels warm enough. Let's try this out. It's just a little warm. It's not like really hot. So we'll see if this lasts all day. But I know the trick for curling actual lashes is to do it in little sections. I don't know why that made my lashes look so small. What the heck? They look tiny. What if I on the back there we go I mean they look good I don't know if they're gonna last all day but they are pretty this one I put hotter I can noticeably feel it hotter My lashes definitely do look more curled than normal. They're pretty like... I'm gonna try a double coat of mascara. And then it says to blow dry your lashes on cool. I guess to dry your mascara? look really curled. I guess this is something I can't really tell if they'll last until I go through the day. But now I need to retouch my liner, so there's that. I think this takes way too long to qualify for a hack because I've already spent double the amount of time that I normally would doing my makeup. And I have one more with the spoon again. So this is for my lips. So I couldn't really tell what they were using, but it's gonna be for my lips. Oh, this is not going to be good. I can already tell. Let's give it a go. I'm just going to use red liner. There's one side. There's the other side. Okay. And then the bottom. Now to fill it in. Not to mention most of my liner went on my spoon. Wasteful. So it's definitely not even. It's better than I expected, but I'm gonna just have to go in and fix it. Much better. Those are all the hacks that I have, so I'm just gonna finish off my makeup and we'll see how it comes out. I think these hacks made my life more difficult, which therefore does not make them hacks. The only two out of the bunch that I could see working is the blending one when I'm using the translucent powder and the eyelash one, which I think I will probably be using in the future. The powder one I feel like is something that you have to practice, but definitely the spoon ones are just a no-go. So let me know if any of these hacks worked for you. They didn't quite work for me, but if you also have some hacks that you'd like to share, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to check out my plant video if you like my plants in my background. 
Be sure to subscribe for more content like this and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Tiffy and I will see you all later. Bye!